physiological basis of various pregnancy tests. Introduction The laboratory tests of pregnancy are based on a demonstration of human chorionic gonadotropin in the urine of the pregnant woman. As human chorionic gonadotropin in the urine appears within two weeks of pregnancy, it provides the early diagnosis of pregnancy. The tests are classified into biological test, immunological test, and other test. The biologic tests are not routinely performed in clinical practice, as these are time-consuming and expensive, and interpretation of these tests requires knowledge of the histological study of the gonadal tissues. Immunological tests are done to diagnose pregnancy, as these tests can be performed in less time, and they detect pregnancy as early as the seventh day of gestation. Human chorionic gonadotropin In all mammals, the corpus luteum in the ovary at the time of fertilization fails to regress and instead enlarges in response to stimulation by gonadotropic hormone secreted by the placenta. The placental gonadotropin in humans is called human chorionic gonadotropin. The enlarged corpus luteum of pregnancy secretes estrogens, progesterone, relaxin. Progesterone and relaxin help maintain pregnancy by inhibiting myometrial contractions. Progesterone prevents prostaglandin production by the uterus, which stops contractions from occurring. In humans, the placenta produces sufficient estrogen and progesterone from maternal and fetal precursors to take over the function of the corpus luteum after the sixth week of pregnancy. Here is a table showing hormone levels in human maternal blood during normal pregnancy. Hormone human chorionic gonadotropin. The approximate peak value is 5 mg per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is in the first trimester. Hormone relaxin. The approximate peak value is 1 nanogram per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is in the first trimester. Hormone Human chorionic somatomammotropin. The approximate peak value is 15 mg per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is during the term. Hormone Estradiol. The approximate peak value is 16 nanograms per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is during the term. Hormone Estriol. The approximate peak value is 14 nanograms per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is during the term. Hormone Progesterone. The approximate peak value is 190 nanograms per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is during the term. Hormone Prolactin. The approximate peak value is 200 nanograms per milliliter. Time of peak secretion is during the term. Human chorionic gonadotropin is a glycoprotein that contains galactose and hexosamine. It's produced by the syncytial trophoblast. Like the pituitary glycoprotein hormones, it's made up of alpha and beta subunits. Human chorionic gonadotropin alpha is identical to the alpha subunit of luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, and thyroid-stimulating hormone. The molecular weight of human chorionic gonadotropin alpha is 18,000, and that of human chorionic gonadotropin beta is 28,000. Human chorionic gonadotropin is primary luteinizing and luteotropic and has little follicle-stimulating hormone activity. It can be measured by radioaminoassay and detected in the blood as early as six days after conception. Its presence in the urine in early pregnancy is the basis of the various laboratory tests for pregnancy, and it can sometimes be detected in the urine as early as 14 days after conception. It appears to act on the same receptor as the luteinizing hormone. Note: Human chorionic gonadotropin is not absolutely specific for pregnancy. Small amounts are secreted by a variety of gastrointestinal and other tumors in both sexes and human chorionic gonadotropin has been measured in individuals with suspected tumors as a tumor marker. It also appears that the fetal liver and kidney normally produce small amounts of human chorionic gonadotropin. Pregnancy Test The main principle behind all the tests of pregnancy is that human chorionic gonadotropin is excreted in the urine of pregnant women as early as 8 to 12 days after conception. Biological Test Urine of a pregnant woman is injected into female animals and its effect on ovarian morphology is studied. Various tests include Ashim-Zondek test, Kupperman test, 
Friedman test, Hogman test, Galli Manini test. Ashim Zondek test. Immature female mice weighing 6 to 10 grams are used. The urine is injected intraperitoneally or subcutaneously into five mice in varying doses of 0.2 to 0.4 milliliters thrice daily for two days. The abdomen is opened after 100 hours and ovarian changes are observed. A positive test is indicated by enlarged and hyperemic ovaries and the presence of recent corpus luteum. Kupperman test. Immature female rats are used for this test. The urine of a pregnant woman is injected subcutaneously. The positive test is indicated by marked hyperemia of the ovaries after six hours of injection. Friedman test. Adult female rabbits are used for this experiment. 15 milliliters of urine from the pregnant woman is injected intravenously into the rabbit. The presence of fresh corpus luteum and corpus hemorrhagic in the ovary 36 to 48 hours after the injection. Hogman test. Adult female toads are used for the experiment. The urine of a pregnant woman is injected into the lymph space. Positivity is indicated by ovulation within 18 hours of injection. Galli Manini test. Male toads are taken and the urine of pregnant woman is injected into the toad. The positive test result is indicated by the release of sperms, which are collected from the cloaca of the test animal three hours after injection. Immunological test. The human chorionic gonadotropin secreted from the syncytial trophoblast has antigenic properties. Its presence in the serum or in the urine can be detected by using specific antibodies against human chorionic gonadotropin. The standard immunological tests performed are Latex Agglutination Inhibition Test, Gravindex Test, Hemagglutination Inhibition Test, Pregnosticon Test, Radioimmunoassay. This is used to detect the presence of human chorionic gonadotropin in the serum as early as 7 to 10 days following fertilization. This is a more sensitive test that can detect even 0.003 international units per milliliter of the beta subunit. 0.001 international units per milliliter of the alpha subunit of human chorionic gonadotropin in the serum. That's all for today. We'll see you next time.